guys it's candy girl orange today we got another unboxing for you got the uh mars hydro ts1000 light and they're two and a half by two and a half tent so uh let's go and get these open let's go and start with the light or you know what hmm let's start with the tent why not tell me what are you guys been smoking on uh been pretty much cheaping on that cake and cam just harvested and uh man she is tasty let me tell you you know let me go and we'll just uh skip to the uh opening of this real quick here we are guys it's a little bit quicker uh, let's see a little cardboard protector we got here some stickers of course see Take a look at this fabric, guys. Yeah. Yeah, here. Use your manual. Got a couple straps, probably for an AC filter, and it does look like it comes with some extra patches in case you get some holes. That's pretty nice to have. You know, your center corners, the rails. You can see your support rods in there. Go across the top. Push up to the side. Now I do have I have a couple things. I already have one of the Mars Hydros, a two by two, and uh, I got this Neo Sun four by eight. I'm sitting in right now, and I have some random brand uh, two by four. Let me tell you the uh, the grades are drastic in between them two. Uh, between all three, really. And, uh, I don't know if Mars Hydro does tend to be the thickest. Like, even this floor pan right here. You know, it's got the nice diamond mylar. Help avoid heat spots. And, uh, but the thickness itself is, you know, 1600D, whereas the, uh, Evo Sun 600. So this thing is almost three times thicker, and let me tell you, it, you can tell just by the holding on to it once. But, uh, yeah, if you guys are thinking about getting one of these, I definitely would. You can really see the uh, pattern. We'll get this thing put together in just a second. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to put this thing together and let you guys see it in, in put together form. All right, guys, she is put together now. Took about 10 minutes, maybe 15. No, uh, we'll put together quite a few. So, I mean, once you, if you've done one, it don't take long at all. But uh, sometimes it can take a little. It took me probably half an hour or so the first time, but it's not bad. Yeah, she feels thick. She's actually 1680D. So. Pretty excited for this one, guys. I mean, out of the Vivo Sun, which you can tell the difference between their Mylar, just that texture and that right there. Um, I mean, this is just substantially thicker. I mean, I don't know why anybody would buy Vivo Sun or an off brand of one of these guys. So, if you guys would think about one, just go ahead and grab one. And two and a half by two and a half ain't too bad. I know a lot of people have. <clears throat> a lot of two by twos and three by threes, but a lot of three by threes are underpowered. But some of those fixtures in these uh, two and a half by two and a half will do really great. So, uh, some box that TS1000 and get it in here and see what we're looking at with that thing. All right, guys, here she is. Got her out of the, uh, the packaging. Let's see what we got in here, real quick. Oh, 
Oh, the joy of opening new boxes. I think we all, we can all relate. Getting new equipment is always, always a fun time. Let's see what we got here. Guys, Let's see what we got here. We'll use your manual. The model specs. Let's see if I can. Uh... No, looks like this one would be good for you. They say a three by three, hundred and fifty watts. Pulls 1.248 amps at 120 volts. Then bolt from 10 to 100. Let's see what we got here. You know your standard, uh, standard plug-ins, blah blah blah. It looks like, yes, it does have a RJ11 port. That's nice to uh, daisy chain multiple lights together as a. Uh, Using multiple lights in an array will actually raise the power up. You can see of each one as other parts of the room will be picking up uh, scattered photons from the lights on the other side. There's all the stuff you can find out about that online. That's why whenever you're running HPS in like a big commercial place, it's not too bad. But if you're a home grower, I just go LED. Really just for save a little bit on electricity, which kind of keep saying school and uh, a little bit less on your heat so it's easier on your HVAC system so you save a little bit of uh, electricity depending on if you're cooling uh, either with your central central air system a mini split or a window unit you know or even a portable Let's see. looks like it does come with the plastic straps that's okay though I have a lot of the metal ones and uh yeah, let's get this thing out of the box. All right, guys, here we are. There she is, the TS-1000. Daisy Chainable Controllable, which is nice. Um, makes me wonder if I can control this with my control master controller. Uh, we'll find out, guys. Uh, I guess she's on 10 right now. Turn her up until she gets bright. And with this, we're going to grow... Roll this gal right here. Oh yeah. Planet of the Grapes. Reverse back cross by uh, Ethos Genetics. Let's get into this. Let's see what we got here. Is that 100% dead center? Probably 3 feet almost I'd say. 300. Bring her up. Let's, uh, hold on. Alright, guys. Let's see where we're at. Right at a thousand. I'd say she's about a foot down. Let's see what we got all the way to the left wall. About 600. Let's see. Right wall. About 500 corners. 350 corners. And 500. Let's see what we got right there. We got 600 on that side. Actually. Oops. 6,000. All right. Yeah, about 550 on the sides. 550, 600 on the sides. About 500 in the corners. And, uh, that's not too bad, guys. I mean, I think she'll do pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. Get ready for this planting of the grapes, guys. This stuff should be some fire. Well, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of it. Let me know what you guys think it'll do. I've also got some regular mixed feminized uh, randoms from uh, in-house genetics. If you guys would rather see one of those and uh, see what we get out of it, let me know. And uh, stay
Stay tuned, guys.